could have predicted the great catastrophe, the devastation from the storms. A once peaceful and prosperous race, the Kyrie fell victim to this mysterious and terrible force. Their flourishing homeworld, Chiron, reduced to a planet ruled by chaos and hostility. A blazing desert wasteland, dominated by a never-ending struggle for survival. And only those willing to adapt, survived. The Chiron adapted. The Chiron survived. Radical changes to Chiron created Chironite, a source of untold power. With it, they brought neighboring worlds to their knees. Yet, it would condemn them to an even crueler fate, as they would be forever bound to their Chironite-rich world. A dying planet they so fiercely despised. But another great force was destined to find them. And, with his help, the Kyre would end their fall from paradise and begin their rise from hell. Thank you. Thank you. Fellow citizens, fellow Americans, as we head toward a new age, an age of seemingly limitless exploration, an age of boundless technological progress, we head towards a sea of unforeseeable challenges. Forces, both political and industrial, both local and otherwise, seek to irrevocably tie us to the increasingly globalized world. They seek to strip us of our ideology, our traditions, our way of life. The things that make our lasting democracy so great under the guise of a unified earth. A single people, a people controlled by an insidious and unseen power. Every step we take toward the future must be a step made with caution, as this power seeks to not only strip us of our sovereignty and the prosperity it brings, but to strip us of our individual freedoms as well. Against this power, we will act. We are Americans, and we will not merely preserve our independence. We will defend it with get here? Some professor planted a bomb I couldn't stop. Lost my arm, my squad. Got myself kicked out of the Global Defense Force. This mission? This is me getting back in the game. Now? Oh, I was 
was hoping for a little more playtime. They say, live long and kick ass. does it take to change a light bulb? None. <laughs> They're all dead. About an hour ago, an unidentified alien force attacked the White House, using some kind of wormhole technology. Tech calls them portals. We managed to mop up most of the outdoor stragglers, but Kamala suggests things aren't going well inside. Your daughter. That's Madam President to you, Sheldon. The last intel we received said she'd taken refuge in the safe room. It's hidden behind a portrait. We need you to find it and bring her back. It's time to paint this White House red. That's gotta hurt. Check this out. It'll turn your arm module into a maxi gun. Let's just say it makes a minigun look like child's play.
If you want a gun, you only have to use once. But want to use a thousand times? <laughs> I'm your guy. Responsibly, soldier. <laughs> uh, that's one hell of a firearm you got there, ma'am. Remember, soldier, a gun a day helps you work, rest, and slay. Contractor from Phoenix Corps here. I'm on my way. Hold tight. Who is this? The name's Shelly, but they call me Bombshell. I've been hired to rescue you, and that's what I intend to do. Well, Bombshell, you're not exactly what I expected, but you're exactly what I need. Give them hell, Madam President. See you soon. support everyone's right to kick ass. For a fee, of course. You just keep doing the killing. I'll do the billing. Picture of the press. Subtle. Madam President! Sky! 
That new prosthetic of yours must have cost you an arm and a... Well, just an arm. <laughs> Heskel. I'm glad you recognize the sound of an old friend, Shelly. Friend isn't exactly the word I'd use. But only a friend would give you the chance to save your president. The chance to step foot on another world. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's the biggest mistake you'll ever make. You would know something about mistakes, wouldn't you, Shelly? The Professor's back. Jadis Heskel wanted to destroy his Institute for Cybernetic Augmentation. Why? Well, he'd experimented on himself. He didn't want the world to find his weakness. Me? <laughs> I'll find it anyway. Environment detected. Scanning. Ugh, I forgot about you. I think it's time for a change. Please specify modifications. Something with a little more personality. Make it female, too. It's a little softer on the ears. Configuring. 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 Hello. You can call me PC or prosthetic consciousness. Hmm. Good voice. Bad name. Why don't we go with. Amiga. And let's up the personality a little more. Amiga accepted. Reconfiguring personality protocols. Please wait. Back to saving the world it is then. <laughs> Take that.
I never forget a face I killed, especially one that ugly. to all GDF in the vicinity. GDF forces, please respond. Soldier, this is Bombshell. Give me a sit rep. We're receiving friendly transmissions from all over this rock. Most have set up shop and are waiting for reinforcements to arrive. My squad has done the same, but we're under constant attack. Keep fighting, soldier. I'm on my way. Better luck next time.
Bagged and fragged. They said aliens would never land on the White House lawn. You guys aren't worth the metal you're made of. That's for the car. easy. They arrived, they tried, they died. You're gonna pay for that. That's for the president.
Oh my god, it's good to see a familiar face. And by that, I mean one that's not trying to fucking kill me. Can I help, soldier? Yeah. My colleague and I got separated from our squad. We got ambushed and he got ahead of himself. I need you to find him. Look, I'd go myself, but he might come back here looking for me. Sounds brave. Look, unfortunately a lot of these soldiers are fresh out of training. Most of them have barely been behind the barrel of a gun, let alone the end of one. They either get too ambitious or too jumpy. I just hope it's not the latter. Bombshell, the intergalactic gopher. Shelly. Chiron will become what it once was. So this is Chiron, home to the Chire. Who needs GDF intel when you've got an egotistical supervillain? Thank you. 
are you finding Chiron, Shelley? It's interesting. For example, did you know that Chiron was struck by a cataclysmic natural disaster they called the Great Catastrophe? Hmm, that might explain why this place is falling into a dying sun. But it doesn't explain exactly how you got that information. GDF researchers have been on Chiron ever since the Chiron attacked Earth. They've been mapping geography, finding artifacts, translating texts. They already know quite a bit. Wow, they're fast. Intel is important to the GDF. That's why they gave me access to their science and intel. I'll be monitoring those channels and pulling out anything I think's relevant to you. I'll keep you updated. Another flacker blueprint. It packs quite the punch. Remember, soldier, a med pack a day keeps the field medic at bay. Good guns kill quick. Responsibly, soldier. <laughs> How's it going, Commander? We've been under almost constant attack since we arrived. Shortly after my transmission, things calmed down a little. Any word from Holloway? Holloway? The last I saw him, he was heading towards that large structure up ahead. Said he was chasing a lead on the President. We think that structure might be blocking our comms. We haven't heard from him since. And calm silence usually means trouble. We don't know. That's why we need you to find it. We'd help, but we can't spare the resources right now. Holloway wouldn't want us to sacrifice a key tactical position just to save one man, even if he is the leader of the GDF. Once you've left camp through that gate over there, you'll find the structure up ahead. Oh, and before you go, I suggest you head on over to our quartermaster. He'll sell you whatever it is you need. See you back on Earth. I hear you're quite the soldier, Bombshell. Wish we had more like you. Semper Fi, soldier. Go ahead, Bombshell. You'll find the structure to the northeast. Oh my god! Multiple hostiles incoming! <laughs> Ma'am, we can use your assistance. Lock and load, Private. Let's show them what we're made of. next time. Chance. Oh, you just 
pissed off the wrong woman. Better check in with the commander. Thanks for your assistance, Bombshell. Here, we found this alien currency. You might as well have it. Thanks. does it take to change a light bulb? None. <laughs> They're all dead. aren't worth the metal you're made of.
Damn it. and fragged. Thank you, ma'am. That was more than I can handle. I got him way over my head. Yeah, and you're lucky it didn't get ripped off. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Look, I was just trying to clear the road for the sergeant, and I, you know, I wanted to show him what I'm made of. Next time, you can impress him by following orders. Yeah, I, I know. You're right. Let's head back. He's waiting for you. You go ahead and head on back, Bombshell. I'm gonna stay here, catch my breath for just a moment. Take your time. Take your time.
Damn, this must be the structure they were talking about. The commander's right. Holloway should be inside. Contractor Phoenix Corp. offered me an arm made from remnants found in Washington's aftermath. But there was a catch. It came from Haskell himself. I wasn't exactly excited about the idea, but it was a second chance I couldn't afford to turn down. This is that chance. have you on radar. Identify yourself. You will be presumed hostile if you do not respond. I repeat, you will be presumed hostile if you do not respond. Hostile? That all depends on who you ask. Shelly, it's you. Radar tells me you're nearby. Get here as fast as you can. I'm transmitting the coordinates to you now. Always the savior, never the saved. A scroll. Looks like it might be the history of the Kyre. It is, yes. But this is part of a larger volume. Oh, that's better. And they said aliens would never land on the White House lawn. I never forget a face I killed, especially one that ugly. They tried, they died. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. like a bag of chips.
Take that. It seems like you and the Kyre have a lot in common, Shelley. How so? Because you both suffered a catastrophic event and survived. Never thought about it like that. It looks like the Kyre adapted over hundreds of years. They augmented themselves. They literally took their evolution into their own hands. That might explain why they got into bed with Haskell. But it still doesn't explain where they went. It would. But GDF Intel has yet to work out exactly how that happened. There's more coming down the line. Expect an update soon. Effective and efficient. A woman was a good choice after all. a little too easy. Hey, it's Bombshell! There's a turret there, Bombshell! Take him down! Well, that's gotta hurt. Better luck next time. That's for the present. That's all of them. Good job. I got orders. I can't let you pass without clearance from Holloway.
Bombshell, I need your help. We were supposed to deliver an important data book to Holloway. We were on schedule until we encountered something big. We? My friend was the one collecting the data. And that something big ate him. Well, it's time for me to go kill something big. The creature fled into a tomb nearby. Please bring back that data. I don't want to lose a data book. My friend and my job all in the same day. Scroll. More drawings. Looks like they haven't had it easy. No, they haven't. And now they seem intent on sharing that pain with the rest of the galaxy and beyond.
never forget a face I killed. Especially one that ugly. Something big. Time to die. They yes, arrived. Teacher, they tried. The dog ate my they homework. Died. Then I killed the dog. This must be the data book he was talking about. <clears throat> my car? Your life. That's a fair trade. Gotta hurt. Huh. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. worth the metal you're made of. Here's your data. Thanks, Bombshell. I thought I lost this for good. How did you... 
Never mind. The blood speaks for itself. I never forget a face I killed, especially one that ugly. Forces have reported unusual fauna scattered throughout the surrounding area. We think they could provide vital insight into Chiron's ecosystem. If you can retrieve just two samples, it could prove invaluable to the war effort. Shelley Harrison, the robotanist. Thank you, Shelley. Your being here tipped the odds in our favor. But the GDF has every reason to believe those odds won't last for long. Jadis Heskel is back. He was so kind as to inform me of that as he kidnapped your daughter. His involvement is a cause of great concern for the GDF, but it doesn't change the nature of your mission, to save the President. A GDF scout team said they spotted her in an arena not too far from here. And you're standing around because... We're too slow and too large in number, and we don't want to provoke Heskel into harming Sky. We need you to infiltrate the arena and retrieve her. We'll follow suit when you've accomplished your mission. Good luck. Entering a building full of bad guys to save the president. Getting a little deja vu here. Consider yourself unblocked. would never land on the White House lawn. How many aliens does it take to change a light bulb? None. <laughs> They're all dead. That's for Earth.
was a little too easy. It's hard to believe that such fragile life can survive in such a hostile world. Harrison, intrepid picker of plants.
small plant could play a big part in winning this fight. In such a tough environment, we can't afford to overlook even the smallest detail. Excellent work. Well, time to get back to that whole saving the world business, I guess. These samples could open a whole new avenue of medical research. Contractor Phoenix Corp. offered me an arm made from remnants found in Washington's aftermath. But there was a catch. It came from Haskell himself. I wasn't exactly excited about the idea. Uh. Uh. 